They came for the party at the King Power Stadium, a party started by Jamie Vardy when the title race was clinched earlier this week, and Everton proved the most compliant of guests. Soon, Jamie Vardy had broken the deadlock, the first of many bits of suspect defending from Roberto Martinez's side. Goal number 23 for the England marksman. Andy King was the man who supplied that goal, and he was the man who swept in the second. Seven years ago, he was helping Leicester win the title in the third tier of English football. A memorable night for him and for everyone connected with Leicester. It got even better soon after the restart in the second period. Jamie Vardy brought down by Pennington, even though he was probably fractionally offside. And it gave Vardy the chance to go within one of Harry Kane's 25 goals, and he duly took it. Vardy celebrating hadn't missed from the spot all season. But that was about to change. Another awful challenge, woeful defending. Gibson to blame this time. Schluck ended up on the floor, but Vardy couldn't repeat the feat over the bar. And so Harry Kane still leads the race for the golden boot by one goal. The only blot on an almost perfect day for Leicester. But there was a late consolation for Everton when Kevin Morales, the Belgian international, made and scored the final goal at the King Power this season. His first goal in four months. And Leicester, of course, went on to win the game. However, Morales' goal was almost an irrelevance. The match, the hors d'oeuvre to the historic presentation of the Premier League trophy.